Hello everybody, it's Felix and Lucien here from the Tennis Brothers. Welcome to our new series of 50 tiebreak 10 matches where we will play junior pros, ATP pros, coaches and even club players all to raise awareness for our charities which are aiming to help lives of children through tennis. Cardiac Risk in the Young Cry is a charity that wants every young person to have the choice to have their heart tested. If you're aged 14 to 35 and live in the UK, you can book a free heart screening. The second charity is Tennis for the World, who are helping disadvantaged communities by sending donated tennis equipment to children who can develop and extend their skills in tennis and also just to keep them off the streets. Please find more information in the link below and if you have any people or friends who would like to help us and support us, then make sure you tell them. Also, we are honoured to have Marcus Buckland, former Sky Sports presenter and now anchorman of football and tennis at Amazon Prime Video, who is going to be commentating over all of our matches. A big thank you to Binny Benu and Head for sponsoring this series. Your support will help the charities change lives through tennis. Please find further information below the video. And I've said, let's bring on the first match. Hello, my name's Shola Roper. I'm a high performance tennis coach. Currently, the boys 14 and unders, 16 and unders, and 18 and unders, Middlesex captain. My favourite surface is grass courts, simply because on the grass court you can finish the point really quick. And also, my best shot, my favourite shot, is the backhand cross court. So guys, Felix here. I'm playing against my ex-coach. My favourite shot is my forehand cross, and my favourite surface, this one right here, hard court. So, master versus pupil, experience against youth and a mouth-watering matchup. 16-year-old Felix Mischke is a 2003-born player, dual nationality, English and German, with a passion for eating burritos. Facing him, a man instrumental in the success of Middlesex over the past few years and a key component in their rise to becoming 2019 national county champions. Now it's the usual rules uh, in this tie break of 10 match. The players will change ends every six points. It's the first to 10, but if it gets to nine all, you have to be two points clear to win. We heard Felix talking about his forehand. This serve is gonna have to function extremely well too if he is to pull off the upset. So here we go, Schiller to serve first. I think this is going to be fascinating. A little bit of an edge between the two, of course, as Felix mentioned. He was coached very well by Shola for a number of years. And that's the sort of thing that uh, Shola was teaching him. Clean forehand, win a high-kicking second serve. And hit beautifully to get off the mark. Now this first serve is, is going to have to work, I think. For Felix today. Oh, touch of gamesmanship from uh, Schoeller as he just wanders back to move a ball. Second serve. Felix lights the forehand. He just overhits that one. Slightly nervy start. The early mini break for the coach. That's better from Felix. Forcing Schoeller to stretch on his forehand side. And he is off the mark. Should mention that the wider aim of playing this tiebreak series is to raise awareness for two charities. I'll give you a little more information about those in just a moment. The return is a little wild. The first of those charities, c-r-y.org.uk. Cardiac risk in the young helps prevent young sudden cardiac death through awareness, screening, research and supporting affected families. You can get more information by uh, pressing on the screen. Oh, I thought he was going to get there. It wasn't the greatest of drop shots and Felix is quick, halfway there. He looked as though he'd get to the ball and reply with interest. And had he done so, I think she, Shola would have been in trouble, but uh, not to be. And the lead is 4-1. Oh, 
But uh, that's a, a somewhat lazy return, dare I describe it thus, from Shola. And so is that. And from 4-1, we're back to 4-3 in double quick time. The other charity that I want to mention is tennisfortheworld.org. It's a charity based in the United Kingdom that collects unwanted tennis equipment and clothing and distributes it to schools, colleges and social development projects around the world. And we'd also like to thank Virgin Active Chiswick Riverside for allowing us the use of the courts. As, uh, well, what a comeback suddenly from Felix, and this is a terrific return. Absolutely nothing that Shola could do about that. From 4-1, we're back to 4-all. Shola's tennis philosophy is that anything is possible, and that's based on a very dramatic stage in his life. had an accident in his teens and uh, was told at one stage that he may never walk again. But thanks to perseverance, a very good mental attitude and a guardian angel, as he describes his physio at the time, Vivian. Not only did he start walking again, but he's playing tennis to this sort of level. And what a match this is turning into. Nothing between the players at the halfway stage. Oh, that is brilliant. That is brilliant from Felix. The first volley wasn't good enough. It gave Scheller an opportunity to pass him. But the second one here at the net is worthy of the fist pump that he treated himself to afterwards. And that's another terrific return as well. Low to the feet of Scholler. And so the players will change ends when... Shola remembers to change, and uh, that, that was uh, a couple of quality points from the young man who says Rafael Nadal is his favourite player. Loves Rafa's work ethic, and he's looking eventually, Felix, to go to the United States on a, a tennis college scholarship, and uh, who knows, maybe then following Rafa's footsteps thereafter. That's just what Shola needed at this stage. Good first serve. On the stretch, there was nothing that Felix could do about it. This is bubbling up very nicely. Shola's worked with some terrific coaches over the years. Says a player simply has to give their best at all times. That wasn't Felix at his very best there. And Shola likes to use a quote from the coach John Wooden, who said that players with a fighting spirit never lose a game, they just run out of time. Which of these two is going to eventually run out of time, I wonder? Well, as I've mentioned a couple of times, Felix needs to keep the first serve percentage high here. Maneuvered himself into a promising position. Oh, and a little wild on the backhand side from Schola. We heard him say before the match that uh, the backhand is his favourite shot, his best shot, the backhand cross-court. But an error there takes Felix potentially to within two points of victory. Oh, well, maybe the adrenaline was just starting to flow. Went for it on the return, not to be. And they're locked together again. Well, he did well to get the serve back into play, but he was wrong-footed. Schoeder saw where he was going, went back behind his opponent. And as a result of that shot, we have a first match point. OK, Felix, what are you made of? Match point down, second serve. And he trusts himself and he hits a clean winner and the match will continue. They'll change ends again. 
The return perhaps a little conservative. The mid-court ball put away. And how's that for a response? Having faced a match point on his second serve, he wins two in a row, an ace there wide of shoulders forehand, and now, in the blink of an eye, it's a match point for Felix. Oh, clutch play from Schola. Dug out the, uh, the little half volley, then steers the winner up the line. How are your nerves at such a key moment in the contest? And we've got a, a mini classic here. Match point for both players. What's coming next? The return is wide, so a second match point for Schola. Again, though, Felix is on serve. And again, he's match point down on second serve. And again, he trusts himself. This time with the off forehand, Schola wrong-footed, and that's two very well-constructed points when Match point down by the 16-year-old. Yeah. Schoeller, a very experienced performer. Uh, he's been at the forefront of his profession for more than 10 years. Oh, and uh, as a result of his knowledge of the game, he'll appreciate just how good that forehand cross-court winner was to bring up another match point for Felix. Again. Oh, he can't quite capitalise. The return drifts long and the match continues. Shell has been to numerous international ITFs and futures events with performance players, but his nerves will be jangling at the moment. God, a degree of exhibition tennis about that. But at the end of it all, it's Shola who comes out on top and it gives him a third match point. Will it be third time lucky? Oh, the ball's come out of his pocket. He's missed the volley, and it is Schola who is victorious by 14 points to 12. What a match. Let's get some reaction from the Tennis Brothers. We hope you enjoyed the first of our 50 tie-break to 10 battles that we're going to play this year. Please help to spread the word by sharing this to your friends. And also, subscribe to our channel to not miss any more tie-break 10 battles coming up. And make sure you tune in next week to see me playing my next opponent.